In this video, we're going to only cover one concept. I'm not going to solve the entire puzzle. I'm going to talk about the ambiguity rule or unique rectangles. If you're not familiar with that, um, with that concept, go to sudokuprimer.com and look in the techniques section and you'll see a write-up about the ambiguity rule. Um, also, some of you have wondered why I use um, primer, why I say primer instead of primer. Well, I've um, had that question, so I actually wrote up uh, on the home page of sudokuprimer.com the difference between primer and primer. So if you're interested, you can go to the home page and and uh, read up on that. And that hopefully answers your questions about that. This is a hard puzzle. It's from livesudoku.com. And I'm, I'll am i just explain the ambiguity rule here, and then we'll, we'll see how it can help in this situation. The only two numbers that are missing here that aren't solved in this box is 5 and 8. In this box, there's a 5 or an 8 here, so there are 5 and 8 twins there. So in this middle box here, we've got 1, 5, 8. And without using the ambiguity rule, we can't solve those right off. So let's use the ambiguity rule and we'll be able to solve it. Since these are 5 8 twins here, these can't be 5 8 twins. Because if they were, then this puzzle would have at least two sol solutions, or in other words, it would, e would be ambiguous. Now since one of the, we know one of these is an 8, we know the other one ca can't be a 5 because of that rule. So the only place a 5 can go is right here. So we, with knowing that rule, we can with confidence put a 5 right there. Now we've got a 1 here and a 1 here, so we know that's a 1. And therefore we know this is an 8. Since we now have 5 and 8 here, we can solve these two numbers. And so because of the knowledge of that rule, or because we know that rule, we are able to solve these three numbers. So. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope that helps you understand the, the ambiguity rule better. And I'll see you on the next video.